Well, if you're like most people, you've probably depended on trial and error to determine what diet and exercise plan really works best for you. Uh, sometimes it could be successful and sometimes not so much. But now there's a new test right here in Connecticut that, util that utilizes genetic technology that can help physicians pinpoint a wellness plan for their patients and you at home. Joining us today is Dr. Jennifer Stagg, owner of Whole Health Associates in Avon, Connecticut. Welcome here to CT Style. Oh, thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks so much for joining us. This is so important uh, because obviously your genetics have so much to do with the future of your health, whatever runs in your family. Right, absolutely. So um, this type of test is really fascinating that we started incorporating this into our practice to help us really guide and pinpoint what sort of lifestyle changes or habits are really important for that patient. And uh, speaking of patients, I have been one of yours here. We right. did uh, one of the tests on me and we have a little bit of video here that we can show you of the testing process. It, it took all of about 20 minutes probably. Uh, Dr. Ange stopped by the studio here and uh, Teresa and I took the test. All we did is uh, put some saliva there in the tube and then tell us the process from there on out. Right, so then that sample gets sent out to a lab in California, and this is a lab that does breast cancer gene screening, very great, reputable lab. Um, and so they do a genetic test, mm -hmm. and on 75 of the genes associated with wellness, with nutrition, exercise, and metabolic um, issues or problems, and then that report gets generated and sent back to your physician, and then we genetically counsel the patients then on, on the results of the tests and what you can do about it. It. And I believe you have some results of my test here. Right, yes. Okay, yep. let's find out here. Dig into it. Yeah, okay. let's, let's get right into it. <laughs> so one of the uh, most important um, test results that we look at for our patients is uh, what is your matching type diet? Mm -hmm. So, you know, people are doing a paleo diet or doing a Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. It turns out for you, a low fat diet would be the best type of diet for okay. you matching your gene type. Okay. Um, and what that means, it's, it's talking about the ratio of the carbohydrates, protein, and fat in your diet. So for carbs, you probably want to be more about 50%, um, fat about 20, and then protein about 30%. And it's different for everybody because oftentimes we and, and we talk a lot about it here on the show you know cut down those carbs increase proteins exercise get a lot of sleep which are all important health things but everybody's body is different so that's what's that's the great thing about this test yeah. so that's interesting yeah. so i should be eating more bread carbohydrates well not bread oh, the right oh. type of carbs oh, okay oh. Well, so, what are some of the correct types so yeah so we think about healthy whole grains so things mm -hmm. like quinoa brown rice um, vegetables so the non-starchy vegetables mm -hmm. leafy greens salad all those great foods that you mm -hmm. think about in terms of vegetables starchy vegetables are good for you okay a couple of servings of fruit a day that adds up and gets you up to 50 percent pretty quickly without using any sort of processed carbohydrate okay what are some of the of the other um, so we even find things things about uh, the types of fats that are good for you. Mm -hmm. So both monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats are good for you. And so this would be the types of fats that are found in fish, nuts and seeds, olive oil, avocado. So all those really mm -hmm. great healthy fats would be important for you to incorporate into your diet. Okay. Um, the next section is on eating behavior traits. And so there are six traits that are tested. This helps us determine your relationship with food. So for you, you have a sweet tooth. Okay. Um, yep, so you that, like the that taste is true, of sweets, that is true, yeah. Yes. It's always interesting when I go over these results because mm -hmm. people find that they're they're correct. Um, and you have difficulty feeling full, so you have this issue with satiety. So mm -hmm. it'd be important for you to make sure you're getting enough fiber and eating a really you know a whole foods type diet, and that will help you feel full. Okay. And then also you you mentioned earlier before the segment something about uh, my my genes. Yes. They're different. Yeah. So unique? then we um, some some of the tests on here we're looking for risks with elevation elevated cholesterol, elevated blood sugar. You actually, it turns out that you have two of the genes associated with obesity. Mm. So it's really important that we work now at, you know, early in your life to establish to really that. great lifestyle habits, exercise, um, and we'll talk about exercise in a minute, but exercise, healthy nutrition, mm. managing stress well, all those things that make you feel more balanced. How about exercise? What are some of the things that I yeah. should be uh, looking at? So for? with exercise, um, this also allows us to advise patients on what type of exercise is good for you. So you're really lucky. It turns out that both endurance training and strength training are beneficial for you. Can okay? you tell? Dr. <laughs> Jen, come on, look, look at this. See? The camera doesn't lie. All right, where, where can we learn a little bit uh, more information about the process? Um, so uh, our, we are accepting new patients mm -hmm. and our practice is located in Avon. We have a great website, Whole Health Associates. Um, 
And then I'm also doing a blog, drjenstag.com, mm -hmm. where I'm regularly posting on precision lifestyle medicine. That's great. I yeah. can't wait to uh, read a little bit more into the results here. It should be interesting. Thank you so much for joining us here today on CT Style. Dr. Jennifer Stagg, make sure that you check her out online. Very interesting uh, new technique, and it's, it's so important to know the genetics of your own family and, and your uh, gene line for your own personal health. Now, uh, one thing that I hope is in there is lobster, because <laughs> that's what we're cooking over in the Bender kitchen.